how are you? I'm Wada. Um, I'm part of Soul Food Food uh, Gang, and I'm really happy to be here with you today. And I'm happy. I, I'm, I'm going to to tell you a little bit of my story and answer some questions. These guys, Janet, Mister, and Heather, had the great idea to uh, let us or are, ask us to. To, uh, to answer some questions in an in an in an interview way, <laughs> so it's great to share our thoughts with you. So, my first question is: Tell us about you and your art journey. Okay, it it's a, it isn't a very long journey because I'm an artist for, uh, since 2007 more or less, 2006 something like that. And at that time I was working, I am a surgical nurse <laughs> and I am a um, biochemical technician. I don't know if if in your country it's called like that, but that's what I, I, I had studied. And I was working uh, on a hospital. I, was, I had lots of work. I had, I, I think that three at that time, three, three works. Um, in different hospitals and places and I was running here from there and I was working from month to month I was really really burnt out so I decided I needed something to start relaxing I wasn't even near a brush for that time I was just doing my stuff with with my, my hospital job and I decided to start going to a um, with a um, sculpting teacher and he was really great and I was I was happy and and that uh, classes were really great but some some day I went to my class and my teacher uh, had uh, draw not draw no paint uh, an amazing amazing uh, wall uh, in her in his house and it was really really great so I love that wall I don't know how to say it I I, I, I think in a graffiti but it wasn't a graffiti it was uh, a whole uh, a whole wall paint <laughs> so uh, I, I was really in love with that and I asked him to paint one in my house and he excuses saying I'm sorry but I don't do commissions and he told me but why don't you paint your own wall and <laughs> I I told him I don't paint that I, I, I don't do that I have I haven't uh, never touched a, a brush and he told me but I can I can teach you I can really help you with that so I went I came home and I and, it, and that idea keep bugging in my mind. So I call him, and the next day I didn't call him. Sorry, I emailed him, and and I emailed him. Okay, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Just tell me what I have to do. I I didn't paint on one of my walls. I did a, a, a I use a bisque, a big uh, canvas, a loose canvas, not a frame one, but a loose one. <laughs> And it was amazing because we started um, sketching and we started uh, visualizing that big canvas and the day when the sketch was on the canvas arrived and I, I arrived to her to his studio and he has he had a very very big <laughs> table and my canvas was there and I, I brought my paints and my and some brushes, some new brushes because I really wasn't familiar <laughs> with paint and he told me how to paint the face I I did a couple in the Klimt style it was my Klimt style but <laughs> I, I did uh, something very far but very near to the kiss from Klimt. I wanted that idea, that theme. So he showed me how to start painting the face, uh, the, the flesh tones. And 
I can remember so so clear the first moment when I pick up when, when I yes I picked a brush and I start making my brush strokes and it was very special because at that very moment I feel I felt this is my place in the world it was amazing and and, and it, it I have so so uh, so bright, bright memory of, of that moment because that was what my inner voice told me in my head this is your place uh, in the world so I never stopped painting <laughs> I continue painting then I get engaged with my mandala with, man with mandalas and I started studying and I started making some researches and Finally, I opened my mandala, uh, my mandala school. It's a little school at home, but it's a school, and I have lots of students. And I, I'm, a, I'm an artist. I became a whole-time artist, a uh, whole-time no, um, full-time artist in 2009 or something like that. <laughs> so uh, that's my art journey until today who knows what's coming on so the next one is what is one piece of, ab of advice that you'd like to share with other artists this one is good <laughs> i choose this one because my cat is trying to go on, on the table <laughs> um i choose that one, that one because i think there is just one advice and I feel it's like an universal advice and the advice is keep doing what you love don't quit uh, even if it, if it feels that you won't be able to do it even if people don't appreciate your art even if you don't <laughs> appreciate your art you just have to follow your your heart you just have to feel and do and you don't have to stop keep doing keep doing keep, keep going keep pushing keep dreaming dreams are I, I always say something to my students that mm, the, the dreams uh, don't came don't come alive in the in the mind okay dreams have to you have to to achieve your dreams in the doing no you have to switch <laughs> from your thinking mode to your doing mode so you have to paint you have to paint if you love to draw you have to draw every day and it doesn't matter you you i, I know that life happens because i was there and i was there for a long time and I remember that I, I get home and I painted, I, I don't know, till, till really, really late, I don't know, 3 a.m., 2 a.m. In the, in, the in the night. So I was really tired, but my painting was, wow, what was what uh, makes me recover my joy and my energy. So I know that life happens and I know that we are all rushing all the time but you don't have to paint five hours a day you just have to give you half an hour one hour in your day for you and here we say uh, with, a, with a friend I have my best friend we say you have to dress like an artist you know you have to to make that suit so it suits you so you have to make like you you have to make and you have to play the role of an artist until that dream come come true so keep going keep doing it and keep pushing okay um when you're creating something how do you decide when it's finished <laughs> um i have a I, i'm um First of all, I'm. I don't want to rush. Maybe when I have an idea, 
I need to go to, to my table and, and start doing something. But in some point, I have this, you have to stop. And I am very used to continue with my piece at the other day and at the other day. I am not a one session artist, you know. I know that there are lots of artists which sit down and in two hours they paint a big canvas and they do amazing things. I can't do that. I tried and I really don't enjoy that process. I enjoy the process of make some part and leave it alone for one day to another. I love watching my art with fresh eyes. I always found something I, want, I, I can improve. I always found something new, something fresh. So I really, really encourage people not to rush the pieces, even if it's a little sketch or even if you are just playing. Just leave it and I, I, I like to think that, like, that the pieces needs time to, I don't know, to install, you know? They need some time to, to go where they, they have to go. So, when do I know they are finished? Because maybe I, I have a canvas or something and there is something inside that's, that tells me it's finished. And I had for a long time this, this thing of, okay, I finish a, a, a canvas or a piece, I sign it and it's finished. And it was like, it's finished. <laughs> and then I realized that sometimes I put that canvas away and I don't know, one month, one year before, uh, after that, I take the I, I I watch it again and I say okay, there is something better I can do with this or I can improve it. So I give me permission. I allow me to improve that or do whatever I want. So, so um, that's I think that's the the what when I f when I feel they are finished. I am really convinced that they are finished. I there is something inside that tells me that's finished. And in, if I don't have the whole feeling of it's finished, I leave it alone for some days. I, I hang it in my studio and I watch it and I try to forget about that and maybe two or three or four or a week, I don't know, uh, time, uh, a, a, a week after I watch it again and then I, I, I can say, okay, it's finished or no. But I take time, okay? So the advice maybe it's take your time. Don't rush a piece. Mm -hmm. Even, again, even if it's a little piece of, of I don't know, of a, of a sketch or a big canvas. I'm sorry, because my, my, my laptop went crazy. So, uh, what was the nicest compliment you've ever received about your work? <laughs> it wasn't... Uh, this one is the, the the one I remember more, the more. Uh, I have lots of lovely, lovely message, messages from people all over the world telling me lovely things on my Facebook page, on my blog, and I really received that comments as love. Uh, I, I sometimes I feel that people embrace me with all that beauty words <laughs> but <laughs> uh, I don't know one month or two months ago I I called to the shop where I I do the prints uh, I, I ask prints of my artwork that's my cat <laughs> and I call them because I need a new set of prints and um, <laughs> I think I, I have to go <laughs> I'm sorry, and I'm sorry, I'm coming back in one second. So, you have kids, I have cats, so <laughs> she was demanding me to open her, the door of, of the room. So, I, I was telling you, I called to the shop where I uh, asked for my prints, and 
the last time I called them it was more or less a year ago and they have lots of clients so I, I, I didn't thought the the guy who was answered the phone <laughs> was uh, was uh, aware of who I was so I called him and I tell him told him something like hi Diego because Diego is his name hi Diego it's Wada um, I need some new art prints um, you will probably know not don't remember my work but uh, I need and, and I was <laughs> starting to ask him what I need and he stopped me and he and he told me yes Wada I remember you I remember your artwork how could I forget it and that was whoa <laughs> because that guys are used to see art every time here and there and I went to the shop and I know that they are in a crazy mode of people going and so it was really a, a good compliment that that guy remembered my art so that was a, a good one so um what are some recurring themes subjects in your work okay uh, maybe i don't know if, if if all of you know but i am a mandala artist so mandala sai are my my subject one of my first one no my first subject were mandalas and for a long time, maybe two or three years, I thought I was only going to be a mandala artist <laughs> because the only art I really, really loved and appreciated was mandalas. But someday the portrait <laughs> bug um, pinched me <laughs> and I started drawing faces and I am really proud <laughs> of what I'm doing lately and I, I'm, I don't know if I'm totally proud of my artwork or if I am more proud of the process I allowed to happen because it took me two years to start drawing and I am not totally happy with my paintings <laughs> with my portrait painting painted portraits but I'm really really proud of my drawing skills uh, drawing pro portraits so that is another of my of my recurring themes mandalas and portraits and I love abstracts and uh, I love but I don't know if they are my recurrent themes I, they're, it's something that I do but not I, they aren't my my main mm, subject so which creative medium would you love to pursue but haven't yet oils I don't have a place to paint with oils because to paint with oils you need and a place where you can hang your canvases and wait them for to wait them to get dried and I don't have that that place here so that will be sorry that will be my my the medium I would really love someday I will don't doubt about that <laughs> and the last one the last one yes is what kind of creative creative patterns routines or rituals do you have and this one is part I think it's part of the other one I told you what is one piece of advice that you'd like to share with other artists because I think that my creative pattern patterns or routines or rituals or however you want to say it it's to work every day and maybe I have a, a very a busy day with my live classes and with my students and with my online students 
and with other things I do because I love uh, I also like digital art and I love I am trying to, to achieve more skills in Illustrator and Photoshop and all that but every day I sit down at least half an hour and sketch something or paint something quick and uh, I, th I think that it, was, it wasn't easy for me eh? having that, um, achieving that uh, routine but I think that you really need and it's a, there isn't a difference for me between my routines and my rituals <laughs> because that half an hour or an hour of or, or that piece of time I spend painting or drawing or whatever for me it's uh, a, a, it's some time out of the of the world of the world when I paint I usually don't answer my phone maybe I, I watch TV or listen some radio show but I, I am I really don't care of what happens around me so I always feel that that, that is some kind of ritual <laughs> so that that um, is my, my routine you know every day I prefer to paint uh, or in the morning or in the nights I'm not very good working in the in the afternoons I really suck, <laughs> suck <laughs> working in the afternoons, and I I try to 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 have some discipline with that, but I I I couldn't achieve it yet. But I really work uh, every day, and something that helped me a lot, a lot with my routines, it's Facebook. And maybe <laughs> you will laugh at that, at this, bit, but. Uh, I post something on my Facebook page every day or, or almost every day some piece of work or some sketch I'm doing or something and I always post something with some um, I don't know with some quote I love quotes and most of the quotes are mine and are some kind of inner thinking of the day or inner thoughts of the day and I love doing that and I started doing like okay I let's see what happens if I start doing this and what happens is that if I have I don't know two or three days that I don't post anything People start asking, "What's happening, Wada? Why aren't you posting? What happens?" People start email me, e emailing me. So, at the beginning, it was a little bit. I, I felt a little bit invaded, you know. So, okay, I have to relax. I can't post every day. But then, and then I, I understood that I had to to extract, or I have to take the best of that the positive face of that and I started engaging with that and making that that one of my routines so actually I almost every night start something or every morning I start something a, a, a sketch a paint or something and I post the process on Facebook and that keeps me moving you know that keeps me so I think that the uh, social webs or so social nets I don't know how you call them they the people there if you surround yourself of uh, fellows artists they really really um, support you, you you know they really really make you feel like you fit there so I love that <laughs> and for me it's a very very big venue that I, that opened my art to to other countries and to other cultures and to speaking in English because English isn't my first language I'm from Argentina so for me it was a very rough <laughs> start at the beginning but 
I don't know, my guides were there and one thing lead me to another and now I am going to be part of soul food with all that lovely artists so I'm really happy and really proud of my path <laughs> until here so please visit soul food's page Be, please sing up we are going to have a lot of fun fun I'm going to share with you one of my recipes I am a very good cooker <laughs> and I'm going to share with you some some recipe and I'm going to share with you some of my art secrets <laughs> and so you are really really invited you are so very welcome you are going to be um, we are going to take care of you and we are going to make all work very very nice and easy so see you in next year class and have fun be happy and stay creative bye bye